Constellation is a new Apple TV Plus sci-fi thriller starring Numi Rapace. So today, let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services like Apple TV Plus. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. When a fatal accident occurs on board the International Space Station, a lone astronaut makes the heroic journey back to Earth, only to discover key pieces of her life, including her young daughter, have changed. Apple TV Plus is killing it with their sci-fi content. Silo and the Foundation, Monarch, there are a lot of great sci-fi shows on Apple TV Plus. And Constellation is another great addition to their lineup. This was a really impressive series with a lot of tension and just twists and turns along the way that make it one of the best shows I have seen this year. It's only February, but it is a standout. Numi Rapace plays Joe. There's an accident aboard the International Space Station. The other astronauts head back down to Earth and she stays on the International Space Station to fix something. And then eventually she returns. And that is where she encounters things that part of her life has changed. It's very subtle. She notices the color of her car is different. People's names that she has forgotten, part of her family she feels has changed. And gradually throughout this eight episode series, we see those changes become more drastic to Joe's life. And then you start to question what actually happened aboard the International Space Station and what was the object that she was trying to fix aboard the space station and aboard the ISS she has a collision with a cosmonaut corpse that isn't supposed to be there so the very first episode it's engaging it's all set in space uh, it's very heavy on the sci-fi to it and you can see the budget is really big for that first episode and it sets the tone that there are going to be some changes to Joe's life and what she encounters on the International Space Station is going to be very urgent and challenging along the way. But when we get back to Earth, there's a lot that happens that I found to be very chilling. They continue that theme of things that are different in Joe's life all the way to the last episode. And I found myself really intrigued on how subtle it was in the beginning as she is having conversation with her husband and her daughter and things just don't seem right to her but she doesn't uh, face it head on she just kind of brushes it off but we see those changes and we hear those changes and we're starting to try to figure out what is actually happening to joe and as these changes become uh inc they increase throughout these episodes you start to piece things together and at times they just kind of tell you what exactly is happening uh, other times they have these very clever conversations on how they're dropping these little hints about what is happening to joe but these changes from her husband to her daughter to her car just personal elements just personal elements to her life it just builds and the tension is there then it's starting to affect other people that have been on board the International Space Station before and seeing how their lives have been affected by it all. So there's a lot of hush-hush surrounding what had happened on the International Space Station and how Joe has been affected by all of that. It's a very self-contained series, even though it involves space and a lot of big elements to it. It feels very grounded when it comes to the story of Joe and that progression. It's really just honing in on her life and those subtle moments of her changes that she does notice. And Numi Rapace is great in this role. Uh, as she comes back to Earth, she is struggling immediately to connect once again with her husband and her daughter. She's been gone for a year. You see that the curiosity, but also like the uh, hesitation to that role as well. But then when she realizes what's going on and how she uh, is trying to dig deeper into what had happened, that is where this character is starting to shift and the people around her start to notice as well that she's just not herself and there's something different about Joe. 
And I really like that tension for Numi Rapace's performance and how it gradually grows throughout the series. But the tension is there. The, the development of that story, it brings the sci-fi elements head on within the series. And there's a lot of moments where uh, people start to see things or realize things and I they were shocked. I was very surprised with what was happening and the hair on my arms were rising and I was just so enthralled with what I was watching. From beginning to end, Constellation is a perfectly developed series where you get your story in the beginning, very subtle moments, it's very hush-hush, but then it just grows and grows and it continues that tension it continues those thrills it continues that intrigue that it set up in the beginning so well very strong first episode but when you're back down on earth that is where you want to know everything about numi rapasa's character joe and how she notices these different things why does she notice these different things that is what i wanted to know throughout and we do get our answers Pretty early on in the series, about middle half of the series, is where they uh, either just kind of tell you what's happening or they, you know, they have these little drops and everything. But I found it to be very intriguing. I was really hooked because what they do reveal, we've kind of seen before in some other movies and shows, but they do it in such a clever, more uh, impactful way that it stands out from other shows and movies that may explore similar storylines this one does it in such a intriguing way very sci-fi heavy series that just grows throughout the production behind it all looks amazing it's beautifully shot the first episode there's a lot of great effects to it and when we get back down on earth and the different settings and locations that we do get that's it's filmed very nicely so i was really surprised with constellation apple tv plus once again knocks it out of the park with their great content uh this is a streaming service that i'm constantly going to and watching their new content so before i give you my score for constellation on apple tv plus make sure to check out my channel here i do movie reviews trailer actions ranking videos tier lists and all that fun movie related content that you see on youtube i do it all here so hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot i'm gonna go ahead and give constellation an a minus thank you guys for checking out my review for constellation have you guys seen it by chance what do you think about it let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this my name is just watches movies and you guys stay classy youtube